right. When was the last? <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna get through this. <laughs> Listen, we have some for similar and all my, oh, mercy, come on with it, come on with it. When was the last time you honestly answered the question, how are you really? Yeah. Now, we open to discuss the importance of recognizing our emotions and being truthful and vulnerable about them. Yeah. Now, the importance of creating a space for a safe space mm. <laughs> creating a safe space for the people in our lives to express and heal through conversations and connections and joining us this morning is a very special guest who has to hear all of my <laughs> <laughs> all of my conversations and call her every so. day when they leave anywhere pick up the phone and say girl i got to conversate <laughs> oh international recording artist and vocal coach not coach <laughs> who write these things my sister Sand Chin Cooks. Hi, Welcome to Sunrise. Oh, oh, so nice to oh. You know, something that we, I think, we three have is um, a sisterhood. Mm. We are able to call each other um, and actually say to each other, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. No, but how are you? How are you really? Yeah. And it turns into this whole other conversation. And so I just kind of want to start there, you know, with uh, how important it is for us to actually have these conversations with each other and how they've blessed us so much, even separately and all together. Yeah, I think we take it for granted a lot of the times that um, people have a safe space to go to. Like, I have, a best, I have a built-in bestie with Tammy, yeah. and even with that, not all siblings are the same. But like Tammy said, it's important to even have that one friend that you can reach out to and be yeah. like, yo, you all right? You're yeah. really okay? Like, she I feel happy. like... It's, what do you mean, it's actually, talk? It's so soothing. <laughs> it's so soothing. <laughs> five o'clock, yeah. come on. No, it's a bit dark. Actually, just, just talk to me. We don't need to do anything else. Just talk to me. But yeah, but, yeah. I, I really believe that, like Tammy said, that safe space of being able to say, well, this is really what's going on, without any sort of judgment, judgment. Mm -hmm. without yeah. any sort of... Um, heavy criticism, criticism and to have that person that will say, it's okay, you can just talk. Yeah. To actually be you in know? a real safe space. Yeah. Yeah. To know that what yeah. you're saying can be received. And to be able to hold space yes. for yeah. that yeah. person yeah. also. And I think it's, I think you know intuitively. I think you know where your soul feels safe, mm -hmm. where you feel protected, where you feel honored. Yeah. Um, and it's often reciprocated. And so yeah. I feel like our souls acknowledge that and mm -hmm. it allows you to open. But as you said, Tess, I agree. Like mm -hmm. it's been able to find that person mm -hmm. where you do feel safe and you do feel seen and not judged, yeah. you know? Yeah, because we do have a lot of emotions, you know, kind of rolling around us all the time. It's an emotional truth. time, <laughs> honestly. It's an yeah. emotional time. And the three of us are in our own senses, even now, like in a part of our lives where we all pretty much are in our postpartum period, which yeah. is also such a tricky <laughs> time of life. Um, but even if you're not, <laughs> even if you're not, <laughs> the Twitter might have stopped balling. I don't know what could happen this morning. No, but it's because just this week we were just speaking this yes. very specifically yeah. about how postpartum changes our yep. own existence in our household. Yes, so we were does. just talking Absolutely. about that. Yeah. And she was just reminding me it's okay for the baby to cry. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's the truth. It's the truth. Well, that's so. the other thing, to be able to tell each other the truth. So, you know, I love that, you know, with our relationships, we can all say to each other, what do you really think about that? Right. Yeah. In other words, I'm telling you that I did this and I said this and... I want to know what you real. I need you to give me a bird's eye view and mm -hmm. a real world view mm -hmm. and a step out of this. Mm -hmm. Don't don't be emotional with me about yeah. this. Like, mm -hmm. tell me what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, that's such an important thing. And I really, what I realized that happens a lot with women, especially, is we just don't trust each other. And there's a lot. There's a lack of trust because of past experiences. It right. might not even be with a friend. It might be because of an experience with a mother, That's yeah. right. uh, a mm -hmm. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And so there's this lack of trust um, between women. And so because women have weaponized it so much yeah. too in the past, when you know something. And so you know, I'm challenging women to actually really be safe spaces yeah. for other women. Yeah. When somebody tell you something, hold it. Yeah. I tell you, you know? hold yeah. that thought right mm -hmm. there. We're, we're gonna pick up right where we left off because we are going to head on over to Muse and come on right back yes. for this beautiful and safe and honest conversation. Heading over to Muse. All right, <laughs> welcome back to Sunrise. <laughs>
conversation is happening. Honestly, in, honestly. <laughs> Sister Alan, something. <laughs> No, these are things we have to think about the yeah, road. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. honestly. Oh, so we are with the talented Tessa and Shane Crooks, as Tammy just showed you. <laughs> we're continuing our, our discussion, rather, on how are you really. It's mm. the really part for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like typically people go, so how you do? And it's we'll like a statement, say. first mm -hmm. that question. Mm -hmm. But people, when people ask, they don't really. They don't really. They're not really really asking. They're, just, they're being polite. They're <laughs> just feel, they're ticking that box. Hey, you know? how are it's you true. good? Yeah. <laughs> And no. if we're being honest, I ain't gonna tell you no. how I am either. Exactly. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I have had a couple times <laughs> where somebody just flip and says, How are you? And I'm like, You really want to know? Yeah. <laughs> and then they're you like, know, I'm Sometimes a when you're just on true. the edge of yeah. glory. Yeah. Yeah. Or like a friend will say, Are you really okay? And I say, Actually, no, no. but we just go smile through this moment and keep pushing. Yeah. Yeah. And right. how important <laughs> is it for everybody to know that we all go through these things? Yeah. Like, I think there's also like this image of, especially, you know, women in the spotlight, mm -hmm. that we have these perfect, laid out, mm. easy, nothing ever happens to us. No, life. we're overwhelmed too. Yeah. We have mental load and we yeah. have the, the to-do list, the checklist to tick off and we have self-doubt about if we're doing it correctly. You know, it yeah. is, I think women on a whole, when we speak about this all the time, it's just a full plate, man. It is. It's a really full plate all the time. And yeah. even when you have help, even when you have an amazing partner who, you know, pitches in, it is, yeah. you know, and to be able to offload or take some of that off and yeah. just being able to have a conversation. Yeah. But it comes back to that idea, though, that we're so judgmental of each other. Yeah. We're so mean to each other. We Nobody are. is meaner to a woman than and another a woman. woman. And I Very feel critical. it's important so to true. say that on this day, that you know we are either each other's greatest cheerleaders or each other's worst, worst enemies, enemies. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so even there there are women watching us right now who feel mm -hmm. like you know oh show them can't say this or yeah. them don't understand and the truth is that we have so <coughs> much more in common than anybody realizes Absolutely. just because of the mere fact that mm -hmm. we are women yeah. Yeah. and we're all dealing with our own stuff yeah. and we're all in our own fires and we are all and it all matters it all matters and yeah. you know i mean not to be a donor but we're going to go there mm -hmm. i remember vividly a couple of years ago in the heights of covid i remember there was a miss usa who on the face of it was yes. the happiest yeah, girl I remember yes. that. Her, she was thriving yeah. she was mm -hmm. interviewing the biggest celebrities Beautiful. on all the red carpet mm -hmm. she's an attorney mm -hmm. she's an advocate she was doing fantastically well her name is chelsea chesley christ mm -hmm. and when chesley decided that she no longer wanted to be here mm -hmm. and she decided that she was going to leave being alive on mm -hmm. her terms mm -hmm. the world was shocked mm -hmm. and they said but she's so happy she's mm -hmm. so pleasant mm -hmm. she's so bubbly you don't ever know. No. So it doesn't mean that because on the surface, mm -hmm. a woman, a person, may be smiling and happy mm -hmm. and bubbly. That's often the biggest mask. It's so true. It's, it's often so the true. biggest mask. So yeah. don't assume yeah. that people are happy-go-lucky yeah. and all is well. Like you said, Tams, because you're in a certain space, sometimes you have to put on a face. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Absolutely. it's actually quite a uh, performance. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. everybody yeah. knows what that feels like. Sometimes yeah. that place might be your workplace. Yes. Yes. It might be church. school. It might be church where yeah. you are putting mm -hmm. on um, a brave face, which is why it is important to find your people who yes. you can have a real conversation with about and say, hey, you know, say, I'm actually not okay. And I think the more that we are honest with each other, we foster more honesty mm -hmm. with each other. The more we are vulnerable with each other, the more That's we can so say the yeah. things that we think we can't say. Yeah. I've been able to say things to both of you that <laughs> I would never <laughs> say to somebody yeah. else, maybe, yeah. you know, whether yeah. it was about um, motherhood, being a wife, being a sister, in my work, whatever it is, just mm -hmm. being able to say, never say it, you know. Mm -hmm. And the relief I feel mm -hmm. after I've just said the thing, after yeah. I've named it. Oh, look at you and Annie. Oh. <laughs> I was great proper preggers there yes, with Izzy. I full on preggers. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, instead of, you know, being on the receiving end, I, like I said, I would love to say to our women out there today, ask somebody how they really are. Mm. Yeah. You know? I mean um, it. Yeah, I mean, I mean it. it and yeah. be willing to, as mm -hmm. Tessie always says to me, hold the space. <laughs> you don't have to say a word. You mm -hmm. just have to hold that yeah. space. 
We don't um, always have to have a solution. We just need to just sit in yeah, that moment yeah. with them. My yeah. natural thing is me want to fix it, you know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I'm a fixer. Jason will like, call me. I was like, do you need me to hold space? Yes. Or do you just need me to listen? <laughs> or you need me to offer <laughs> solutions? <laughs> right, right. Because I got you. Hey, should I cook something? <laughs> <laughs> always <Yes>. pour something. <laughs> always, yes. So that's so nice. But thank you to you both for always um, showing up for me in that space. Thank in that you. Time. In that time when I've always needed somebody to be like, girl, they're gonna tell you something, you know. <laughs> You know what's crazy? You also, you yeah. also did that for no, me this week. Oh, this gosh. week, I was reeling, yeah. trying to navigate how something was making me feel. I was feeling really yeah. discombobulated, yeah. and you actually allowed me to say, "Oh, but wait, I am in a very early yeah. postpartum oh, phase." Nice. Oh. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Time. Yeah. So it's it's an honor to yeah. have women who you respect, yes. who you admire, Truly. and who you feel safe with, yeah. and who you know will offer you honest, genuine feedback. Yeah. Amen. Love, that. love you, girls. Love you. Love too. you. Awesome. <laughs> I love you, girls. Love you. <laughs> Here's to you. Here's to you. That was international yes. recording artist and vocal coach. My sister, my confidant, <laughs> Tessa Chin Crooks, vocal powerhouse queen. Oh, yes, it's time for a short break. Um, when we return, we have our very own <gasps> Mommy Miss Kitty. Yes! yes! Say it with me. La 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 We'll be right back after this break. Make this break quick, guys, please. <laughs> Love that. Oh, fantastic. Don't follow the crowd. Let the crowd follow you. Melinda Frenchies. Soon come back.